With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Okay, so the given question here we have is the product of perpendicular drawn from any points on a hyperbola. This one, x square by x square minus y square by b square equals what one to its asymptotes. So basically, we have to what find? We have to find product of perpendiculars, right? Drawn from where? From any points on a hyperbola curve. Okay, to its asymptotes, which we have to find out. So first of all, this is my solution part here, right? What is the equation of hyperbola? So my equation of hyperbola is what x square by a square minus y square by b square is equals to what one, right? And we know that if this is the equation of hyperbola, this one, right? This is the general equation of hyperbola. Then what will be the equation of my asymptotes? So my equation of asymptotes, okay, asymptotes will be what? Okay, so we know that equation are what basically y equals to plus minus b by a x. So in that case, I can clearly see that uh, we have two equations y minus right y sorry plus of b by x. B by a x equals to zero. This is my first equation. Another equation I have is y minus b by a x equals to zero. These two are the equation of asymptotes I have here, or we can say these are my asymptotes values here. Okay, and basically what are the asymptotes? Asymptotes are basically tangents to the hyperbola, which will meet them at infinity point, right? So now these are the equations I have here, and it says that I have to take any point on a hyperbola, right? And from this point, so first of all, what I do? I'll take a point on a hyperbola. So let's suppose a point is what p, right? And I will consider in parametric form point is. So this will be a sec theta in terms of second tan. So this will be sec theta a sec theta and b tan theta, right? These are the points, and I have to find the product of perpendicular drawn. Okay. So basically, I have to draw, right? I have to draw this perpendicular from this point to these two lines, right? And then I have to find the distance product of these two. Also, I can explain here with the diagram that if this is my suppose coordinate x is here, right? And these are my hyperbolas here. If these are my hyperbolas here, okay. So as we know that asymptotes are drawn to this hyperbolic curve, something like this, right? You guys know these are the asymptotes line here I have, which will meet the hyperbola or the tangent equation tangent at infinity. So if I have to draw what suppose my point is what somewhere on this hyperbolic curve, if this is the perpendicular line, okay. If I draw perpendicular line to any point of this hyperbola, right? This point, this is the perpendicular I am drawing. This one is my perpendicular. I am drawing to the point this point here, and I have to find, and also I can draw this perpendicular from this point on hyperbola. Okay, so it says that I have to find the distance of these distances. Okay, I have to find these equation distances from these. As you know that this is what y equals to minus of b by a x, and y equals to what this is plus of b by a x. So basically, this d we have to find out. Okay, outcomes. Okay, so first of all, let's suppose if I have to find d one, d one is the distance which I have to find of this point. Right, p point to this line. Which one? This one. So this will come out as what? This will come out as my d one equals to what? B tan theta. Right. Plus of what? B sec theta divided by under root of a square plus b square. And this equation we can clearly see that a is what one and b is what b by a. So one plus b square by a square. Right. This is my d distance or d one distance for this line. Okay, so you guys are thinking how I find the d here. So just let me tell you here. We are already aware of it. We know that if I have to find a distance around a point, right, around a point x comma y, to the line, to the line a comma b. Sorry, line equation should be this one. To the line a x plus b y plus c equals what zero. And my points are what x comma y. So my equation will become what a into x a x plus b y. Let's suppose this point is my x one and y one. Okay. Because these are confusing terms here, so this will be a x one b y one plus c y divided by under root of a square plus b square. Okay, guys. So this is the distance formula. We are very 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 aware about this form. Also, I can say that like if this is my perpendicular, is this the point? And I have to draw perpendicular to this line. Okay. Now this is my distance we have to find. So basically, this these points are what x comma y. And this equation is line here. Sorry, x one comma y one we just point took. And this line should be what a x plus b y. Plus c equals to zero. So this is basically the di diametrical representation of finding the distance formula from a point to the this perpendicular distance. Okay. Formula. So this will become. This will become here. This part is what under root, right? And this here I have d1 distance. Now I have to find d2 distance for another line. Which one? Y minus b by a x to this line. Which one? Ah, uh, this from the point p a sec theta b tan theta. So this will become d2 will be basically my. Okay. So this part will be what? This part will be b tan theta again. B tan theta 
and here I have minus of b sec theta this time minus of b sec theta look why because we can see that here this is what I have minus of b by a x right this is what my minus of b by a x so this will become minus of b sec theta and divided by again what same identity 1 plus b square by a square right 1 plus b square by a square because minus b by a whole square square is what b square by a square right so in that case what I'll do okay I can write here also d2 as if I take minus common if I take minus common from this d2 so this will be what minus of b sec theta right and minus of tan theta minus of b tan theta right if I take minus common from this part and divided by divided by what 1 plus b square by a square under root okay now it question says that I have to find what product of perpendicular lengths so basically I have to find this product of d1 and this product of d2 now if I multiply these two terms okay if I multiply these two terms d1 and d2 so the result will be basically in what mod okay this will be in mod okay so what I'll do this b tan theta plus b sec theta okay this can be done as here this can be done as my b sec theta sorry this sec theta plus tan theta right what I did I just take b common also this can be done as what this can be done as my b okay of sec theta minus of tan theta you guys are thinking this should be written as minus of b but why because I just remove the b because there is a mod here so this whole value will be what positive so I can easily remove this minus value okay so this can be done as what my sorry with the product of b sec theta minus tan theta uh, and also I taken b common so this will be divided by they have a same de uh, denominator part so this will be 1 plus b square by a square right with the product of 1 plus b square by a square okay so from this this will become what okay so b b will be b square and we know that sec theta plus tan theta multiplied by sec theta minus tan theta this is the identity what uh, sec square theta minus tan square theta right a square minus b square so this will be written as sec square theta minus tan of square theta right is the bracket here okay so this will become now this will become okay under root part here is what basically this will become 1 plus b square by a square right and there's a mod here now we know that this sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to what right, exactly this is equal to 1 so this will become b square in the numerator and this part is what okay so if I take LCM here this will be a square plus b square divided by a square right so now if I put this a square on the numerator part so this will be a square b square divided by a square plus b square and this is the product of perpendicular is drawn from the hyperbola to its asymptote values we just find out here okay so this will come out as what this will come out as a square b square divided by what a square plus b square a square plus b square right for class 6 to 12 ITG and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today